Thank you, and a pleasant good day to those of you on Radio Land. This is your speaker, Billy Joe Gentry, on the Living Word Broadcast. Spare our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with our sick and shut-in, our soldiers and our families, wherever they are in the world. Be with those who need a lift from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Those helping make this time possible, McQueen Funeral Home, Wheat, Missouri, Foreign Funeral Home, Castle, Charles Leona Goswick, and the Living Word Mission Church right here in Simcoe. We certainly invite you to our services. Our worship hours is Sunday, 10 o'clock Sunday school, 1030. Worship, and 6 o'clock on Sunday evenings. Hope you'll come and be with us. We're located two miles east of Longview, Highway 76, Community of Simcoe. All right, we're going to get started, and here's here's Red Foley. If I can help somebody as I pass along If I can cheer somebody with a word or song If I can show somebody he is traveling wrong Then my living shall not be in vain Then my living shall not be in vain Then my living shall not be in vain If I can help somebody as I pass Alone, then my living shall not be in vain. If I can do my duty as a good man ought, if I can bring back beauty to a world. If I can spread love's message that the master taught, then my living shall not be in vain. Then my living shall not be in vain. I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. For every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night, a candle glows. I believe for everyone who goes astray, someone will come. To show the way I believe I believe I believe Above the storm The smallest prayer Will still be heard I believe that someone In the great somewhere Here's every word Every time I hear a newborn baby cry Or touch a leaf Or see the sky Then I know why I believe 
wave above the storm The smallest prayer will still be heard I believe that someone in the great somewhere Hears every word Every time I hear a newborn baby cry Or touch a leaf Or see the sky Then I know why Right, there you have Red Foley here on the Living Word Broadcast. I hope you enjoy it. I'd like to give you my mailing address, Billy Joe Gentry, 46 North Thor Road, THOR Road, right here in Rocky Comfort, Missouri, 64861. Well, we need to hear from our listeners. Drop us a card and let us know. Send your prayer requests, and we'll be glad to answer them. All right, here's the coup.
Cooley here on the Living Word Broadcast, and I hope you're enjoying it. We enjoy bringing the broadcast to you. All right, I had a request for the Lewis family, and here they are. Okay, the Lewis family here on the Living Word Broadcast. I hope you're enjoying them. I will enjoy bringing them to you. Here's Tennessee Ernie Ford. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.
but now am found was blind but now I see Tennessee Ernie Ford here on the Living Word Broadcast, and we hope that you're up and around and everything's going well for you. We'd love to hear from you, and just let me know. I'd like to tell you that those helping make that time possible is McQueen Funeral Home, Wheat, Missouri, Foreign Funeral Home, Castle, and also uh, the Living Word Ministries right here in Simcoe, the Living Word Mission. All right, here's Charles Gosman. That leads to paradise 
where the saved on earth shall gather to their homes beyond the skies. There'll be no sickness, no sorrow, no heartaches will be there in that land of endless day. and narrow road where the glory of God to man is shown. You may be traveling the rocky road, the road of sin and strife. Jesus Christ is the highway. He's the highway of life. Jesus Christ is the highway. He's my highway of life. Charles Goswick here on the Living Word Broadcast. Our Bible lesson today takes us to Psalms 27. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? David here is giving us the guidance for a spiritual life and for our physical life here to follow. He talks about the light, and he said, My salvation. In the book of John, it surely talks about Jesus as the light of the world. And if the light of the world, he says then, if you are in, if we're in Christ Jesus, he says to the church, you're like a candlestick that the candle that goeth not out. He says that your light will shine in darkness, and the darkness will not comprehend it. He also says that the church within itself, my friend, is like a light set on a hill, and it cannot be hid. And so the light is the wisdom and knowledge of Jesus Christ that brings us to a great experience in him. Now, of course, we realize in John 3 and 1, when he, Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, he says in this chapter, Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again? Can he enter in his mother's womb and be born again? Nicodemus was not a stupid man, but Jesus tells him, says, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. In other words, if the soul is born again, then we have the light in our sight, in us, and our conscience guides us in the right direction. There used to be an old saying, and I've heard the older preachers, old timers back there say, let your conscience be your guide. If we're in Christ Jesus, our conscience can be our guide, and we will not go wrong. David goes ahead and he says, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. You know, there's nothing in this life any more beautiful than a life that is decorated with the love of God. The love of God comes our way when we accept Jesus Christ and open our heart to him. He's going to come in, and there the love of God will help us that we can enjoy the beauty that goes with a Christian life. We miss so much until if we do not know Jesus Christ, we miss the joy, the fellowship that we have with the brothers and the sisters, with those around us, you know, with family and friends. No wonder he says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You know, I've spent the bigger part of my life in the house of the Lord, working for uh, Christian organizations and whatever. And I want you to know, the joy is unspeakable and full of glory. My, you know, you go through life and you're living your Christian life and you can't see any way out, but you meet that person in some way you're able to lead them to Jesus Christ. And when you do, the blessings flow. Then he says, for in time of trouble, he shall hide me in the, his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, rock of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that there's nothing any better in life than to have the foundation of Jesus Christ under your life and standing on his promises. I think we miss so many of his promises that we don't look into the word of God as often as we should. And David said, I will wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I think sometimes this is difficult to do. Just wait on the Lord, and we get in our busy days of life, and sometimes we forget that the Bible just says in Isaiah, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And so in keeping the word of God and in looking into the teaching, then David says in verse 11, teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me 
in a plain path because of mine enemies. We need a plain path today, and the plain path that we need is Jesus Christ, following him in, in uh, the Lord. And once we find him, follow him in water baptism and the teachings of the Scriptures, and we can't go wrong. The, Lord, the Bible says in verse 5 here, chapter 29, verse 5, in Psalms, the voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. You know, he, he can break the old stony heart, and he can make it come to be a, a beautiful thing. Well, let's bow our heads in the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, come here, that man, woman, boy, or girl who needs you now. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the clock on the wall says it's time to go again. So from all of us here at the Living Word Broadcast and Living Word Mission Church, Billy Joe Gentry and all of our sponsors saying God bless you till next time. Hi, I'm Sue Taylor, and I host the Faith to Live By podcast, available from the Sky High Podcast Network. Are you looking for a little spiritual pick-me-up as you begin your day? Each weekday morning, I have a short devotional thought to get you going and give you something to reflect on as you go about your day. Faith is not just something you need when you get saved. Faith is something you live by. Look up Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe today.